Hey everybody, Aaron with PubSafe. I'm uh, going to make a little different video today on a piece of equipment that I found that I thought you might be interested in if you're into search and rescue. Uh, this happens to be an air compressor uh, that is in this rugged case, so it's highly portable. And it is from Sherpa4x4.com, and I'll put the URL right here. Sherpa is not the same as Sherp ATV, which you see here. A lot of people call the Sherp ATV a Sherpa, and in fact, it's incorrect. A Sherpa is an individual that climbs a mountain, and a Sherp ATV does not have the A on the end of Sherp. So, uh, just for a little bit of clarification. Uh, this unit I looked at, and I actually bought uh, Sherpa 4x4, is actually located in Australia. And this unit I just looked online listed for $630 and that includes shipping to the United States. And when you look at their website, you'll see that all their products include shipping to the United States included in the price that you're looking at. So there's no mystery of what you're getting and what it's going to cost. And it's not, you know, 600 bucks plus $500 in shipping, uh, which is highly impressive because this is a heavy duty unit and it could not have been cheap to ship here. So. Um, you know, when you look online, you go on Amazon or the places like that, you see these cheap air compressors and maybe they're two, three hundred bucks for a halfway decent one. And then you pay 630 for this one. And that includes shipping from Australia. Pretty good deal. And the reason that I got this unit was because I was on there, uh, actually online doing research to find a winch for my Sherp. And I need a winch that pulls about six to 8,000 pounds and uh, I also wanted something that would work on my tractor, uh, some, you know, some pretty big heavy equipment. So I ended up finding Sherpa online, some of their YouTube videos, and they actually did a video where they took one of their winches and they submerged it in salt water for like six weeks. They then took it out on video, uh, they used it, and then they took it apart on video so we could see what type of water intrusion there was and what happened to the uh, metal components that may have reacted with uh, the salt water and things like that. And it was super impressive. I mean, that, that video has got to have gotten, gotten them a lot of mileage and sales over the years since it's been out. I'll actually put that down in the description for you as well. Uh, but the pricing of shipping included to the United States and the fact that uh, the build quality was so high just led me to go ahead and buy an air compressor. You know, if you're out doing search and rescue, you're gonna have trailers, you're gonna have vehicles, you know, you're gonna have to blow stuff out when you're fixing generators or whatever, you know, trying to get stuff clean. And an air compressor uh, is always gonna be handy. And I could have had one installed in the bottom of my F450. Uh, instead, I got a toolbox. I put this in the toolbox. I can carry this around. I can carry it to another vehicle. I can loan it to somebody else. It gives me a degree of portability that I just wouldn't have if the air compressor was actually on my truck for the sake of operating the airbags. So um, I went this route. And this comes in a heavy duty, uh, like a, it's like a Pelican case, I'm not sure if it is or not. It's got four latches, heavy ABS plastic, and comes complete and ready to go. So I'm going to open this up and show you what's inside. And the first thing you see is you get about a, I don't know, 15 foot air hose. You'll notice, if you look here, you'll see they actually use Teflon tapes on their, on their joints. Hey, that's pretty good. So that means they had to put this together by hand. This wasn't machine assembled or something, but they used tape instead of, you know, like a paste. Uh, you get a digital air gauge, which feels like better quality than some of the ones that I applied to the, at the local box store. It does require batteries, so make sure you put batteries in it before you need to use it. Uh, next, we have about a six foot power hookup, and obviously this is designed to go to the battery on your vehicle. If you needed to extend this, what I would do is get jumper cables. You know, you might have 25 foot jumper cables, so you can start to get this farther away from power source. All right, and then what you see on the inside is you see a, uh, this is what you see. So you've got an air tank, and you've got a compressor, and it looks like two motors for the compressor. Uh, the whole thing is, is nice and tight. It looks like quality parts, quality connections, you know, uh, metal uh, braided uh, hose uh, protectors. It's got a nice toggle switch on and off. 
things of that nature. Now, uh, in all fairness, I have not used this uh, extensively. Uh, I have used it to blow up my tractor tire, and if you know, uh, you know, on a tractor tire, I've got a, a tractor tire that's as tall as I am. Uh, you know, it can take quite a bit of air. And we hooked this up to my 450, put the tractor right next to it, and started inflating the tire, and it worked like a champ, no problem at all. And it worked uh, pretty quickly as well. You know, with the two motors on there, obviously your your uh, duty cycle is is high. I believe this one's rated for 100% duty cycle. I'll have to check that and put a correction in the video if I'm incorrect on that. But um, you know, for $629 US, including shipping, I thought this is really something that not only am I interested in, but if you're watching this video, you probably are interested as well. So take a look at Sherpa4x4.com. Um, you know, uh, I, the 17,000 pound winch that I bought, I just looked again online, it lists for $1,300. If you try to buy a 17,000 pound winch from Warren, uh, not only is it going to cost you $2,500, but it's going to cost you another $300 in shipping. Uh, and is it going to be the same build quality? I don't know. If they're equal, why not save a thousand bucks and uh, you know get one from Australia? Good trading partners of the United States and long-term allies. You know, it's not like uh, you're buying from some other countries that don't necessarily necessarily like us. So think about that. And um, you know, if you haven't downloaded or installed the the PubSafe mobile app, check that out too. There's a free version. Uh, it's people helping people. You can say, hey, I need some help, and people in the area get a notification that. You know, hey, you ran out of gas in your boat, maybe you fell out of a tree stand, whatever those things are, and those people can start to move your direction to see if they can provide assistance. Obviously, you always call 911 first, but you know, uh, a lot of times we have to depend on each other in the area to help one another. The other thing is, if you're with an NGO and you need a way to manage your search and rescue teams, uh, the pubsafe.net portal was built just for you guys. And the portal communicates with the mobile app, You've got to upgrade your subscription. That's where you start to pay a little bit, but it's like a third less than anything that you've looked at out there. And uh, we track volunteer hours. We can uh, do tracking on the map so dispatchers can see you. We give you custom URLs to take in volunteers, to take in help requests, and then be able to dispatch those help requests out to people in the field using the mobile app. So it's really a super slick system that I've built over many years to help NGOs uh, be effective in rescue. So check out pubsafe.net. If you uh, need an air compressor, check out Sherpa4x4.com and good luck to you and keep up the good work.